and can feed a family of four for up to 10 days. You can donate via PayPal, bank transfer, or why not to visit our website www.ihdrf.org. Together we can feed the orphans, the widows, and also the impoverished families all over Iraq. Imam Hussein Media Group is moving to a new location. As the shrines plan to expand, we at Imam Hussein Media Group have secured and built a new building to help continue our efforts for Abba Abdullah. The 13-story building will be harboring all five channels at Imam Hussein Media Group, as well as space for filming studios, editing suites, server rooms, and a Husseiniyah for the locals. Imam Hussein Media Group is giving all you viewers a chance to help and be a part of this venture we are embarking on. We are allowing people to support this project by donating $700. $700 is what it cost Imam Hussein TV to build, plaster, and paint one square meter of the building. Your donations will forever grant you reward and help you in your akhira. For every show and program that is made and broadcasted, you will earn a share in its thawab. So please help and donate whatever you can. Remember, you are helping pave the way for millions to Karbala and to Imam Hussein. الحمد لله رب العالمين ثم الصلاة والسلام على أشرف الأنبياء والمرسلين سيدنا ونبينا وحبيب إله العالمين أبا القاسم المصطفى محمد الله صل على محمد وآل محمد وعلى أهل بيته الطيبين الطاهرين المعصومين الصادقين الغر الميامين brothers and sisters ladies and gentlemen my dear youngers who are watching the show my respected elders, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. And welcome back. My name is Haji Haidar Al Qazaz. It's an honor once more to be your co host tonight. I am joined by the one and the only Yasad Mansour, your co host for Seven Steps to Heaven. It's an honor to be back on our second episode. Alhamdulillah. Indeed, indeed. It's an honor getting the, the choice and the present to give people a chance to not only win a ring, a special ring but also to get a trip to the holy land of Karbala. Absolutely, absolutely. So for those of you who haven't seen the quiz so far, welcome back. Just to let you know, we already have callers. So inshallah, the number is going to be coming on your screen as soon as possible. When you see that number, dial in. We have the best AV team available, inshallah. So they'll be able to put you through soon. Before we get into the show, mm. uh, Habibi Yasser, I wanted to just explain the format. For those of you who haven't seen the show before, it's called Seven Steps to Heaven. Mm. And there's a reason it's called Seven Steps to Heaven. Give us a quick 30 second introduction, Yasser. Well, the name Seven Steps to Heaven is not only because heaven has seven stages, mm -hmm. but it is, all, it is also because we are asking the general publics a range of seven questions 
for the chance to literally go to heaven on earth. Right, so the seven questions, brother or sister, you come with us online. You have the ability to have these seven questions. You'll be given them. The seven questions, if you get all of them correct, number one, you win a ring live, inshallah. And number two, you are then put into a draw. Mm -hmm. Tell us about the draw, Yasser. The draw is no matter how many winners we get, let it be 20 or 40, we, mm -hmm. all, we will all put your names in this draw and no, no one's going to cheat. We're going to put you in the draw <laughs> just to make sure people think we're biased. No, we're gonna no, put absolutely you in the draw, not. Absolutely and not. whoever wins, we're going to give you a one-way trip to Karbala and back. Inshallah. Oh, that's a two-way trip. That's a two-way trip. So we won't, we won't <laughs> leave you there, Inshallah. We'll, we'll, we'll bring you back. But I presume if you go there, you'd probably want to stay, yes, right? There you go. There yeah. you go. Okay, so Alhamdulillah, last week we had a great show. We had so many people calling in mm. from Canada to Colombia to London to the US. Mashallah, mashallah. We had a number of winners as well. Mm. So the idea today is we want as many callers as possible which means Yasser and I will probably talk a bit less mm. um, I know you're upset to hear that I'm sure they're upset yeah. but we're not going to lose Yasser's corner oh. so the Yasser's corner is when inshallah brother Yasser will go through hadith if I'm not mistaken we have our first caller as well Yasser yes, yes, we let's go. go let's welcome our first caller inshallah, inshallah. hello assalamu alaikum alaikum assalam wa rahmatullah caller brother tell us your name your age where are you calling from Yes, uh, my name is Sami Nasri and I'm 16 years old and I'm calling from Canada, Toronto. MashaAllah. Sorry, I, I caught that you were 16 years old. You're calling from Toronto in Canada, but I missed your name, brother. Sami. Sami, Sami MashaAllah. How are you, Sami? Are you well? Good, Alhamdulillah. How about you? Alhamdulillah. We thank Allah. We're, we're, in, good, we're in a good position in the UK. Uh, the <laughs> lockdown is nearly finishing. Alhamdulillah. Beautiful Alhamdulillah. nights. And we're looking forward to welcoming you to the quiz. Mm. Are you ready for the questions? Yes. All right. Beautiful. Okay, so inshallah, if you've seen the way that the show works, there are going to be some numbers loaded behind us. What does Sami have to do, Yasser? All, you're going to, all you have to do, Sami, is pick a number. We're going to have a, number, a range of numbers behind us that goes from 1 to 15. Beautiful. Pick a number. Let's say you pick 8. We'll give you the set of questions inside the number 8. Beautiful. So the numbers are there, Sami. What number would you like to go for? I would like to go for number 9. Number 9. Inshallah, we'll select number 9. And just to remind you, you have 20 seconds mm. and that clock starts... When we ask the question, inshallah, and the first question okay. will go to my dear brother Yasser. Okay, so your first question is, we pray towards the Kaaba. Is this correct or incorrect? Sorry, what was the question here, Tita? Yeah, of course. The question was, we pray towards the Kaaba. Is this correct or incorrect? Mm. Yes, that's correct. We pray towards the Kaaba. All right. Fantastic. Are you sure? Would you would you like us to lock that in? Sorry. Would you like us to lock that question in? That answer in? Yes. All right. Yeah. Correct. Fantastic. So we we'll say correct, and let's see if you are. You are yeah. correct. Mashallah. Allah. And we go to your step number two towards heaven and the visitation of Karbala. The question says: Imam Hassan alayhi salam is the father of Imam Hussein. Is this incorrect or correct, brother Sami? Incorrect. Okay. Incorrect. You sure about that? No, no second thoughts. Lock it in. Yes, lock. Inshallah, locked in. Are you correct? You are. Oh. The answer is incorrect, and that's two from two. Mashallah. All right, Sami. This is your third step towards heaven. The question is, which prophet is mentioned the most in the Holy Quran? Is it Nabi Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wa alaihi wasallam? Mm. Is it Nabi Musa? Oh, Nabi Isa, or oh, finally, Nabi Adam? Uh, Nabi Musa. Nabi Musa. Nabi Musa number two. Oof. We'll lock that in for you, inshallah, and we'll see, yes. is that the correct answer? Oh, Ahsent, oh, Ahsent. So you are three out of three. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah, mashallah. Sami, this is a walk in the park for you. <laughs> <laughs> mashallah. Yeah. Question number four says, brother Sami, who was born on the 15th of Sha'ban? Was it Imam Ali alayhi salam, Imam Mahdi Ajjarallah Farajah al-Sharif, Imam Hussein alayhi salam, or Imam al-Sajjad number four? Which one would you choose? Imam Mahdi Ajjarallah Farajah al-Sharif. Imam Mahdi Ajjarallah Farajah al-Sharif. We'll lock that in for you. Quite an easy question with the correct answer. And you are now four from four, mashaAllah. And by the way, brothers and sisters that are listening, 
Yasser and I told you, Imam Hussein TV wants winners. And you can see from the, <laughs> the set of the questions, yeah. inshallah, that's the case. Let's go, Yasser. All right, for your fifth question, it is, which of the following is not born in the month of Sha'ban? Mm. Is it Sayyidah Fatima? Is it Abbas ibn Ali? Is it Sayyidah Ruqayya? Or is it for Ali al-Akbar? It is Sayyidah Fatima. Ahsentum, we'll lock that in. Point one, are you sure about that? No, no, no other choices? Yes, 100%. 100%. Let's lock it in. Um, it says you're incorrect, but you are actually correct. I can, I can clarify and guarantee. Uh, so ignore the red and you are on five from five correct answers at the moment. And we'll skip to number six, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, yes. And the question says, what do we wash first in wudu, in evolution? Is it number one, the hands? Number two, the arms? Number three, the head, or number four, our hair? Mm. Okay, I go for our hands. We'll go for our hands. Inshallah. No second, no second time sinking. You sure you want to lock in? Sounds yeah. like you're sure. We'll yeah. lock that into the hands, inshallah. And, yeah. and that is the correct answer. Mashallah, brother Sami, you are one away, if I'm not mistaken. You are one away. Okay. Or you could have all... There we go, one okay. away. So, yeah, last question from, right. from Brother Yasser. Your last question to go to heaven. Mm, it is, Allah. who succeeded Imam al-Kadhim alayhi salam? Right. Is it Imam al-Jawad? Is it Imam Ja'far al-Sadiq? Or is it Imam al-Raza? Or finally, is it Imam al-Hadi alayhum al-Salam? Okay. Um. Take your time, you still have 15 seconds, and this is the last question. You get it right, you're our first winner today, Brother Sami. Yes, I yes, I good. believe in you. How many seconds? You have You've got three. three left, two, one. Okay, it's Imam, 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 Jawad. Imam, Jawad. Imam, 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 Oh, here you go. Unlucky, the last one. So, as we know, it's Ali ibn Musa al-Ridha mm. alayhi salam. And I'm, I'm actually gutted to say you've done so well on the first six. Uh, that the, the, the yeah. fifth red one is incorrect, Brother Sami. But you got six out of seven right. But the good news is this show doesn't stop tonight. Uh, Yasser Habibi, tell, tell the audience when does the show run? We, have, we use 50% of the week to bring you this show. <laughs> Monday night, Wednesday night and Saturday night. And right. you have all the opportunity to call on Wednesday, Saturday or the next upcoming Monday. Habibi Sami, unlucky. Okay. Inshallah, you're going to call back in? Inshallah, inshallah. Inshallah. Thank you so much for joining in. Really appreciate your call. And inshallah, better luck next time. Okay, so Jazakallah. Jazakumallah. Thank you very much. Ma'assalama. Ma right, Ma while, while we wait for our next caller, Yasser, just a quick point. Um, there was a bit of, I guess, an error from our side. We were talking about aqiq rings. Actually, there's an opportunity to get an even, I guess, potentially more special ring mm. because Imam Hussain TV is giving out a selection of rings today. We'll yes. just quickly focus on it if you can. Yeah, sure. So we've been told that, not, uh, previously we said the aqiq ring, but no, we've taken it a step further. Mm. The marble on the ring that will give you, the stone itself, will be straight from the grave of Imam al Hussein alayhi salam. Right. Straight. Right. So actually, it's from the marble that's around the grave of yes. Aba Abdullah alayhi salam. That during re re renovations, rather, this is broken up. The Atab al Husseiniya, who are responsible for the shrine, take this marble. They make rings. Imam Hussein is blessed and lucky to have a collection of those rings. Mm. And brothers and sisters, they could be yours, inshallah. So. Uh, brothers in the AV team, inshallah, we should have our next caller if I'm not mistaken. Mm. Call is ready, let's put the caller through. Bismillah. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam. Ahlan, assalamu alaikum. Please call us, tell us your age, your name, where are you calling from? I'm Sada Sada Fatima. My age is 90. Okay, we're having a bit of a disturbance with your line, sister. I, I think, if I'm not mistaken, you said your name is Sadaqa and you're 19 years old? No, my name is Tabak. 
Sad dog. Sad dog. Sad Sad The line. S A D. The line is the line. Unfortunately, is very hard to hear. Brothers in the AV team, could we disconnect? And inshallah, the sister or the brother could try again. We've been told by the AV team, sister, if you can turn down your TV, please. Maybe that could help. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So if you can do us a favor before we get going, if you can hear our voice from the TV, or if you can hear our voice on the phone or the iPad, please mute that. Let the communication only be through the telephone so we can hear you clearly, inshallah. Okay, okay. Fingers crossed yeah. that should work. Just a reminder to the brothers and sisters, when you call in, inshallah, mute all of the other sounds in the background, especially if it's our show because there'll be mm. feedback and echo. Yeah. Sister, can you hear us now? Yeah, I can oh, hear you. Oh, perfect. Alhamdulillah. Tell us your name again. My name is Sayyid Ah, Sayyida Sada Fatima, MashaAllah. Yes. How are you, sister? Are you well? I can't hear you. What? I, I said, how are you? Are you well, inshaAllah? Yes, Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. If you're ready for the quiz, the first thing we want you to do, Sayyida, is choose one of the numbers behind us, inshaAllah. InshaAllah, okay. tawakkaltu Allah. I choose 14 now. MashaAllah, 14. If we take number 14, brothers in the AV team, and inshaAllah, we'll start the quiz. 20 seconds. Take your time, but not too long. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Question number one. Oh, just a little trouble. InshaAllah, we'll give it a second. Mm. Maybe number 14 has some difficulties. Let's yeah. try one more time. Then go for seven. Okay, 14 has worked, sister, alhamdulillah, alhamdulillah. I think. Here yes. we go. Father. Okay, your first question, sister, is mm. Jibreel is an angel. Is this correct or incorrect? What? Jibreel is an angel. Is this correct or incorrect? This is correct. Okay. Correct, inshallah. We start off with a nice and easy one. Mm -hmm. We'll put correct in. And inshallah, we'll see if Sayyid Asada Fatima is correct. And inshallah, we'll lock in correct. And you are correct. So that is one from one. Mashallah, well done. We go to question number two now. Okay. Question okay. number two is, Muslims walk around the Kaaba ten times during Hajj. Mm. The pilgrimage to the Kaaba, they walk around the Kaaba Ten times. Is this incorrect or correct? Ten times. I need to push you for an answer, sister. Is it ten correct or incorrect? I said, uh, can you repeat? Yeah. Muslims walk around the Kaaba ten times during Hajj. Is this correct or incorrect? Incorrect. Incorrect, inshallah. Let's lock that in. Are you sure you don't want to change incorrect? Yes, I'm thinking it is. Okay. Okay, let's see if that is. Ahsentum, you are right. The correct answer is that Muslims walk around the Kaaba seven times during the Hajj pilgrimage, and you are two from two. And inshallah, we go to my dear brother Yasser for question number three. Oh, right. So the third question is the shrine in Qum belongs mm. to. Imam al Raza, Imam Ja'far al Sadiq, three Sayyidah Fatima al Zahra, or four Imam al Hadi. Shrine al Qum. Yes. Yeah, I'm, I'm not necessarily sure that that question is correct in all honesty. Uh, I'm definitely right. sure it's correct. It's Mashhad. Okay, so, 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 so just to let you know, um, number three is not supposed to be Sayyidah Fatima al Zahra. It's supposed to be Sayyidah Fatima al Ma'suma. Oh, so then, then my. Okay, so, so in that case, we'll lock in number three. 
As I told you, brothers yes. and sisters, and dear brother Yasser, mm. Imam Hussein TV wants winners. Yeah. So sometimes we make mistakes on purpose in the questions. So inshallah, <laughs> when we tell you the correct yeah. answer, just take it. You please. are correct. That is three from three, mashallah. Okay. And we now go to question number four. Okay. Mm -hmm. It is. Which surah is the only surah that does not start with Bismillah? Is it Surah Tawbah? Three? Surah Al Isra? Three? Surah Muhammad? Or four? Surah Taha? Which surah? Yeah. Which surah does not, does not start with Bismillah? <laughs> okay, we'll lock your, your, lock your question, answer for number one then. Bismillah. Yes, correct? definitely. Okay. MashaAllah, you are correct. So, so. And I think if I'm not mistaken now, Brother Yasser, that's four from four. Mm, so yes. you are only three steps away from the correct answer. Mm. And question number four or five, I think. How many Imams can there be at one time? Is the answer one? How many imams? Yes. How many imams can there be at one time? Is the answer one, two, three, or four? One. Okay. So we say in terms of the title imam, there can only be one existing at one time. Mm. And that is the correct answer. Of course, we know. In some cases, there have been multiple Imams alive at yeah, one time. For example, yeah. in Karbala, we had Imam al Hussein, al -Salam, Imam al Sajjad, and some narrations say Imam al Baqir as well. Mm. Uh, but of course, only one is an Imam. Well done, sister. Mm. And I think this is your penultimate question. Okay, so it is What is one of the miracles that happened to Nabi Yusuf? Is it six locked doors opened by themselves? Mm. Is it his staff turned into a snake? Or number three, he split the moon. Or four, he healed the blind. Can you give me the options? Of course, sister. It is six locked doors opened by themselves. His staff turned into a snake. He split the moon. Or last, he healed, he, he healed the blind. Mm. A slight mistake in question number four. It should be healed the blind. I sent it. Yeah. Okay, so you're guessing number one? Yes, it's my guess, hopefully. Yeah, I think it's probably thinking about, oh, oh. it's the correct answer, mashallah. And if I'm not mistaken, Sister Sayyida Sadaf, Fatima, you have one more question to win the ring from the Holy Shrine of Imam Hussein and also qualify to be in the draw for a visitation to the holiest lands, the holy land of Karbala. The question says, which prophet was sick for the majority of his life? Was it Prophet Nuh? Was it Prophet Adam? Prophet Shu'aib? Or Prophet Ayyub? Prophet Ayyub. Very confident in your answer. You still have 15 seconds. Are you sure it's Prophet Ayyub? This is the last question. Hopefully. Inshallah, we make dua, Yasser, yes. raise your hands. Inshallah, say the Sadaf Fatima is right. You oh. are correct. Ahsent. And inshallah, ahsentum, ahsenti. We will celebrate with a salawat ala Muhammad wa Ali Muhammad. Allah. You did it. Salli ala Muhammad. Muhammad. The AV team salawat is low today. Is low. It's not like... Beautiful. There they are. There they are. Sister Sayyida Sadaf, how do you feel? Congratulations. Thank you so much. That's all right. Our pleasure. Well done, sister. And keep us in your du'as, please. Please. Obviously. And to my... Insha'Allah. Insha'Allah. The line is disconnecting. Thank you very much, sister, for joining in. And insha'Allah, we're going to welcome... Very shortly, our next caller. caller, if I'm not mistaken, do we have another caller in the AV team? Inshallah. 
Okay, so just just to let you know, inshallah, there's a caller coming through now. We're patching mm -hmm. through. Mm -hmm. um, Yasser, what are your thoughts on, on the quiz show so far? It's been a pleasure. It's it been an absolute pleasure. We're getting calls from everywhere. Mashallah. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. <laughs> we're and international. In fact, the fact that we're called Imam Hussein TV, of course we're going to be international. Oh, Imam Hussein accent. has no boundaries, accent. my dear brother. Yeah. Uh, but one of the things I'm very surprised with is the, the, the level of the questions. Oh. Because we had quiz show. Of yeah. course, um, when you were approached to host and I was approached as a co-host, we heard, <laughs> we heard there'll be a quiz show yeah. and we heard there'll be some, some, some questions. Mm. I never knew they'd be as easy as they are now. Honestly. Um, Honestly. And actually, brothers and sisters, if you are listening to this right now and you're sitting at home and you haven't done a quiz show before and you're thinking, shall I? Shall I not? Is this going to be easy? Is this going to be hard? My recommendation to you okay. is pick up the phone and call in now. Inshallah, the number is going to be put at the bottom of your screen mm. now so you're able to see it. Mm -hmm. um, and we'll welcome all it's the brothers and sisters. Yeah, it's absolutely. A absolutely. I never knew we are Hussein TV indeed. are this generous with their questions. Alhamdulillah, alhamdulillah. We have our next caller, by the way. Inshallah. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam wa rahmatullah to the both of you and to your entire team. MashaAllah, ahlan wa sahlan. Thank you very much, my dear brother. Tell us your name, your age. Where are you calling from? Um, my name is Ali. I'm uh, in my 30s. Alhamdulillah. <laughs> And uh, I'm from Bedfordshire in the UK. MashaAllah. Right in the sticks, Ali, in Bedfordshire. <laughs> yeah, it's a stick, so uh, nice scenery. Be absolutely, absolutely. How are you finding Shah Ramadan so far? Alhamdulillah, it's going very, very well, uh, going very quickly. Uh, soon we're all going to be looking back and thinking, look how quickly it's gone. Hey, wallah. So, ah, sense, ah, sense. Absolutely right, absolutely right. Let's try, try to make and take advantage of these nights as best we can, brother. Yes. Thank you very much for reminding us. So, are you ready for the quiz? Is this the first time you're watching or have you seen the show so far? I watched it. Uh, I watched your first one. Um, I watched uh, the sisters uh, a short while ago. So Brilliant. Brilliant. You're, you're, you're our favorite viewer so far because you've watched both shows, brother <laughs> Ali. Um, okay, <laughs> so, so, so Yas is going to take you through what you need to do. Let's go. All right, brother. Behind you, there's a set of okay. questions. There's a set of numbers. Please pick whatever number you would like. Um, okay, I'm gonna do it. Uh, twelve, number twelve. Number twelve. Excellent. Allah, we'll lock that in for you. Beautiful. Just a reminder: you have twenty seconds for every question, so don't rush, but don't take too long. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, am I going first? Go for it. All right. So the first question is. Going Hajj means going <laughs> to Imam Al Hussein. Is this correct or incorrect? Just to, just a reminder. Sorry. Some of these are trick questions. <laughs> Sorry, can you can you repeat repeat the question? Uh, going Hajj means going to Imam Al Hussein, alayhi salam. Is this correct or incorrect? Uh, incorrect. Incorrect. Are, are you sure, sure, brother Ali? We know that Imam Hussein yeah, is, is part of everything. Are you sure you want to lock that in? <laughs> You're trying to confuse me, but uh, <laughs> we're gonna, I'll, I'll we're gonna, we, remember, we want you to do well in this quiz, so we're not trying to trick you, inshallah. <laughs> um, going Hajj, fantastic. Okay. Right, so we're going to, that as a proper roadman question, yeah. going Hajj, fantastic. <laughs> uh, okay, so we go to question number two, inshallah. And question number two says, the Holy Prophet had three siblings. Fantastic grammar as well in the questions. Is that incorrect or correct? Brother Ali. Excellent, excellent. <laughs> uh, the Holy Prophet has three siblings to the yeah. day. Mm -hmm. uh, no, that's uh, incorrect. Okay, we're going to lock in incorrect for you. And inshallah, that will make it two from two. Accent. You are Beautiful, Brilliant. you are correct. Fantastic Brilliant. work. That's two from two. Mm. Remember, you need to get all seven right, okay. so we have five left. Ya Allah. All right, okay. the third question is, which prophet lost his eyesight as a result of crying a lot? Mm. Is it Nabi Ishaq, mm. two, Nabi Yaqub, three, Nabi Yahya, or four, Nabi Saleh, alayhum as salam um, It was Nabi Yaqub. Nabi Yaqub. Are you sure, Baba, you would like to lock in number two? Uh, locked it in, please. Locked it in. Let's see if it's the correct answer. It is, of course, for crying for his son, Yusuf, alayhi mm. salam. Mm. He lost his eyesight. And then, through the miracle of Allah, he regained it as well. Question number four. 
How many times did Imam Al Mahdi Allah Farajah Al Sharif go into ghaybah or occultation? How many times? Was it number one? Two times. Number two, three times. Number three, four times. Or number four, the one time only? Uh, two times. Two times, inshallah. Are you sure about that answer, brother? I am sure. You're okay. sure? Yeah, brother okay. Ali. We'll lock it in. Wow. You are correct, mashallah. And if I'm not mistaken, three questions left. Yes, yes, four, four, four. As easy as one, two, three, and then and then you're in. Let's All go. Right. Your question is, how many times? Okay, how many times has the Quran been changed? Mm. Is it one, two times, two, three times, three, never been changed, or four, five times? Um, never been changed. Never. Are you sure you would like that to be logged in? Inshallah. Oh, please, yeah. All right. Beautiful light work for Brother Ali. Wow. We can see here at the Mashallah. moment. He's correct. And there's two more questions. Inshallah, for you to get your hands on that ring from the marble sure. near the shrine of Imam Hussain as well as being entered into the live draw. Question number six says, Who is the Prophet? Peace be upon him. Nabi Muhammad, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Who is his father? Is it number one, Abdullah? Number two, Abdul Muttalib. Mm -hmm. Number three, Abu Talib. Or number four, Hamza, alayhum as salam. Mm -hmm. It's uh, Abdullah. Abdullah. So we're saying Nabi Muhammad ibn Abdullah. Is that correct? Mm -hmm. The answer is yes. MashaAllah, brother Ali. And I'll leave you to the beautiful Nurani face of my brother Aww. Yasser, inshallah, <laughs> to give you your beauty, <laughs> mashallah. You're to give you, blush. Don't. When you blush, you look even cuter. Don't do it. <laughs> the last question, inshallah, you get this right, brother. We're all rooting for you. Ya Allah. Ya Allah. Your last question is, Laylatul Qadr is better than how many months? Is it one, ten months? Two, a hundred months? Three, a thousand months? Or four, 10,000 months. Mm. How many? Thousand. A thousand. So a number thousand. three. Number three. Are you sure you would like this to be is, locked in? This is the question, brother Ali. If you get this right, you've won. Are you sure? Uh, well, I chose number 12 in the name of Imam Mahdi. Yeah. Uh, that's my answer. Ya Allah. Inshallah, you are correct. Ahsentum. And you're seven from seven. Seven steps to heaven. And we will salli ala Muhammad wa Ali Muhammad. You did it. ala Muhammad wa Ali Muhammad. The AV team. What's happened? The AV team's given up. But by the way, Today, the questions and the graphics, 10 out of 10. Oof. The salawat has dropped a few. Yeah. Don't worry. Oh. Beautiful, beautiful. beautiful. Brother I'm... Ali, congratulations. Well done. How do you feel? I feel good because you know what? I haven't gotten a key ring. So, uh, Allah. Yeah. Allah. Beautiful, beautiful, like beautiful, beautiful. So, inshallah, the ring that is made from the marble that is near the shrine of Imam Hussein. In fact, it's not actually an aqiq ring. It's a stone that's made from the marble that is next. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, that was part of the, the shrine next to the grave of Aba Abdullah. So, inshallah, it has shifa for you for all the days you wear it. And when you do wear it, please, a request from your humble servants, myself and Brother Yasser, please make du'as for us, inshallah. Congratulations. And we pray, we pray, inshallah, that you're successful in the draw for the trip to Karbala as well. Well done, brother. Thank you for calling in. Ma'asalaamu. Haydar, if I'm not mistaken, Brother Ali is our first winner today? No. No? No. We had more? We had Sayyida Sada Fatima. She won as well? She won as well. No, she won as well. Yeah, she did. Yeah. Yeah, she did. Oh. Yeah, yeah, that oh, was two. And then we had our first brother mm. who got the last question wrong. Unfortunately. unfortunately. Very yeah. close. So we want, we want more winners, basically. Yeah. We want 100%. more winners, inshallah. We're rooting for you. We're, that's it, sisters. that's it. And don't forget as well, if you're a bit stuck, hi, yeah, me and Yasser, we're trying to make this happen as well, inshallah. inshallah. Uh, on the as, slide. <laughs> I, on the slide, exactly. But as long as you don't complain to any TV regulation or Ofcom yeah. or anything like that for, uh, <laughs> for help and quizzes, Ofcom. inshallah. AV team, do we have another caller? Fantastic. Patching mm. through our next caller. Inshallah. And inshallah will be three winners mm. if this next caller is able Shalla. to get the seven steps correctly. Mm. Remember, it's only seven steps to heaven here at Imam Hussain mm. TV, your gateway to Karbala. Oof.
Sense. That's the motto, isn't it? Ah, Did I get the motto right? That's all right. Well done. Well Did done. I get it right? That's correct. No way. Not a word incorrect. Alhamdulillah. Wow. Okay, cool. So we're having a bit of difficulties with our next caller. So while that loads up, I'm kind of wondering, you're, you're going to talk to us a little bit about Yasser's corner today. So AV team, if you could put the next caller on hold, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to go to Yasser's corner, which basically for the brothers and sisters that haven't seen this, every single part of the show, every show we do three times a week, Brother Yasser Mansour is going to mention a hadith, expand on it ever so slightly, of course, for dhikr Allah, but also to remind ourselves, myself and Brother Yasser, first and foremost, but for the brothers and sisters, inshallah, inshallah. something that we can benefit with. Bismillah, tafadhal Yasser. If you would allow me, can I take out my phone? Of course you can. So look, Chadeb, come on Yasser, bro. Habibi. So, if the phone, inshallah, works. The hadith for today that I've chosen right. was narrated by Imam Ja'far, alayhi salam. Mm -hmm. It is said that in the last moments of Imam Ja'far's life, just before he would die, alayhi salam, it has been recorded, he has said, our intercession, our shafa'ah, will not reach those you consider prayer light and insignificant. Mm. If you would allow me, could I explain this hadith? Of course, yeah, yeah, go for it. When I say this hadith, it is that there are some people, unfortunately, in today and previous times, that when the time of dhuhr, let's say, comes at noon, they say, ooh, it's 12 o'clock, it's dhuhr time. It's fine. I have up until 6 o'clock to pray Maghrib. Mm. So why would I pray it now? I can just pray it 5 minutes before Maghrib, keep my wudu and pray Maghrib. But this is not significant enough. And our Imams have warned us about this. Imam Jafar al-Sadiq saw it so important, he said it before he was martyred. Mm. He said, our shafa'a is not for those who take prayer insignificant. Ah, sent. And ah, unfortunately, sent. we see this a lot these days. Yeah, People absolutely. make excuses and it's not good. No matter what excuse you say, it's not good enough to be late to your Lord, to the Creator Almighty. Yeah, absolutely. absolutely. Yeah. And to touch upon that as well, we know from another hadith that Salatu Amud al is the pillar of religion. If it's accepted, everything else you do will be accepted or can be accepted. Mm. And if you don't, nothing else you do will be accepted as well. Wow. So yeah, absolutely. I think just touching upon that, the fact that the Imam and your point is beautiful. Mm. In those last moments, the Imam alayhi salam, he could have talked about anything. anything. He could have talked about anything, but mm. he said very importantly, our intercession which is what we all want, yes. is not Insha accepted Allah. if you take your son, not if you don't pray. La, la. If you take it lightly. Mm. Inshallah, Allah. we pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to make sure we don't take our salah lightly. Insha We're ready to welcome our next caller. Beautiful hadith. Thank you very much, Brother Yasser. We welcome our next caller, Inshallah. And we say, Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum, caller. Can you hear us? Assalamu alaikum. Alaikum as salam wa rahmatullah. Sister, tell us please your name, your age. Where are you calling from? My name is Sabrina. I'm calling from Kenya, Mombasa. Wow, mashallah. So I, I actually heard, if I'm not mistaken, Mombasa in Kenya? Yeah. Okay, and we missed your name, sister. If you can repeat it for us. My name is Sabrina. Sabrina, Sabrina. mashallah, mashallah. Thank you, sister, for calling in. What time is it now in Kenya? Mm. It's actually 2.10 at the moment. MashaAllah. Wow. Is it your suhoor time now or no? Not yet. Not, not yet. yet. MashaAllah. InshaAllah. InshaAllah. Thank you very much for calling in. Are you ready for the quiz? Thank you. It's a pleasure. Mm. Fantastic. Yes, inshallah. Fantastic. Okay. InshaAllah. So you can see the numbers behind you. If I'm not mistaken, 14 and 12 are not available. Yes. Um, as is one, what other number was chosen? I can't remember. I can't, nine. Number nine, nine. number nine, Ahsent. Oh. And 12 and 14 are not available. What number do you want to go for, Sister Sabrina? Inshallah, number five. Inshallah, the number of Ashab al Kisa. Beautiful. Ascent. We go yeah. for number five. Yeah. Yeah. We say Bismillah and we go to our first question. Bismillah. Bismillah. Okay, your first question, Sister Sabrina, is Nabi Musa built the ark. Is this correct or incorrect? Mm. Could you please repeat that again? Of course, Sister. The question was Prophet Musa السلام, built the ark. Is this correct or incorrect? Incorrect. 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 Are you sure you would like us to lock that in? Yes, 100%. We're sure, right. alhamdulillah, okay. we start nice and easy. Okay. We know that the ark was built by Nabi Allah, Nuh. 
Nice. And that is the correct yeah. answer. Well done, Sister Sabrina. And we go to question number two, which says, Prophet Yunus, alayhi salam, was swallowed by a whale. Is this incorrect or is this correct? Prophet. Prophet Yunus was swallowed by a whale, a hoot. Is this incorrect or yeah. correct? Correct. Okay. Correct. We know from the words of Mullah Basim al Karbalai. And we yeah. go to correct. And are we correct, inshallah? Are not going to reference We are. I'm not going to reference it, no. It would be awkward if I try and sing. Uh, and you are two from two. Okay. Mashallah, Sister Sabrina. Brilliant work. Brilliant work. And we go to question number three, inshallah. Okay. Mashallah. Mashallah. Four questions away. Mm. Okay. It is What did the people of Arabia used to worship? Right. Did they used to worship Zamun? Or a tree, or a stone, or finally idols. Mm -hmm. I'll go for idols. Idols. Okay, okay, we'll lock that in. Are you sure you don't want to have a change? Do you want to lock in number four idols? Yes, inshallah. Inshallah, we'll lock it in. You are correct, wow. sister. Masha'Allah. Three for three. And oh three God. from three, indeed. And mm -hmm. we go to question number four now, inshallah ta'ala. You're doing really well. Uh, the question says, how many sons did Umm al-Baneen alayhi salam have? The mother of al-Abbas alayhi salam. How many sons did she have? Was it number one, two sons? Number two, four sons? Number three, five sons? Or number four, six sons? Four sons. Hey. We say Confident. the correct answer is number two. Let's lock that in for you, sister. Said very confidently. Mm. Inshallah, you are correct. Wow. Salam Allah ala Umm al mm. We know that she treated Imam Hussein. If she had the choice of the answer, we know that she would say five because of the way she treated Imam al Hussein. Mm. But factually, yeah. she had four sons. Well done, sister. Mashallah. And you have, if I'm not mistaken, three questions left. Yes, yes. Beautiful. It, alhamdulillah. Okay, your question is. How many prophets have been mentioned in the Quran by name? Mm. Is it 5, 12, 23, or 25? So this question has got a bit hard all of a sudden. Ooh, yes, yes. Between 23 and 25. You're going to have to pick one, sister. Mm. You've got 12 seconds. Take your time. Have a think about it. I will go for... 20, 23. 23. You'll go for 23. Are you sure you want to lock that in, sister? Oh, oh we locked in, and the answer, unfortunately, was 25. Yeah. It, upset, um, it upsets us to see, sister. Thank you so much for calling in. And inshallah, we want to give you another chance. Make sure this program goes out throughout the month of holy, uh, the holy month of Ramadan. Mm. As you know, on a Saturday, a Monday, and a Wednesday night. Thank you so much for staying awake to call us from Kenya. I know it's late, but make sure you call back, inshallah, and better luck next time. Inshallah, shukran, jazakum Allah. Ma salama. So close. Yeah, it's but, really but unfortunate. It's unfo it got hard in the end. Yeah. Surprising. All of a sudden. The levels wow. upped. Wow. We went from do you pray towards Karbala to how many prophets <laughs> in the Quran? Uh, best, best, inshallah, inshallah, we'll welcome our next caller, AV team. Do we have a caller ready and waiting? We do. Beautifully Hi. said. Salamun alaikum. Salamun alaikum, brother. My name is Faiza and I'm calling from New Zealand. MashaAllah. Faiza from New Zealand. Wow. MashaAllah. First caller from New Zealand. The first caller I think I've ever seen on Imam Hussein TV from New Zealand. Oh, wow. Where are you from in New Zealand, sister? I'm from Christ Church and mm. I'm a regular. Uh, um, I watch Imam Hussein TV. MashaAllah. And I like it so much. Oh, thank you, thank so, you so much, much, sister. Thank you so much. It genuinely gives us so much honor mm. and it's such a privilege Wallah. to have the Shia of Imam Hussein, of Amir al Mu'mineen al-Salam calling from all over the world, especially when I know how far New Zealand is away. I may surprise some of our brothers and sisters. What's the time right now in New Zealand, sister? It's uh, near to uh, 12 p.m. here. 
Right, so it's midday. Wow. It's completely the opposite side of the wow. world. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I mean, we're in midnight. And we're, we're midnight and you're midday. There's literally wow. 12 hours between us. So it's an absolute honor. Thank you mm. so much. And yeah, inshallah, long may you be a supporter and follower of the channel and therefore a supporter and follower of Imam Hussein alayhi salam himself, sister. So we're ready for the questions. I'm going to get the numbers up behind us. Mm. And we have a selection for you. Which number, sister Faiza, do you want to go for? I will go for number nine. Number nine, I believe, mm. just in case it's been chosen. Yeah. Do you mind selecting a different number for us? Okay, so uh, number four. Number, number four, four, inshallah, that's great. So we'll go for number just four. Just one thing, brother. Yes. I'm watching you on TV as well, and you are just a little bit behind than we are. The program which is coming on live. Yeah. It's behind, so I won't be able to see the, uh, the questions on the screen, maybe. No problem. We're going to read the questions for you nice and slowly and clearly. Is the line connection good enough? Can you hear us well? Yes, I can. Okay. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Inshallah. So we'll see how it goes. And very best of luck, Inshallah. All right, first question is, the month of Sha'ban is the month which Muslims fast in. Is this correct or incorrect? Yes. Yeah. It's an incorrect. If it's Japan, this is incorrect. Okay, so we're looking incorrect. And nice and easy to start with. The months we fast in, of course, is the holy month that we're in now, the holy month of Shahar Ramadan. Mm. And Sha'ban precedes Shahar Ramadan, and that is, that is the correct answer. The next question for question number two, Sister Faiza, is Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam is the last prophet of Islam. Mm. Is this incorrect or correct? This is correct. This is correct, inshallah. And we'll lock that in for you. And we'll see if it goes green. Ah, uh, we've seen it before you. There's a delay, but it has gone green. Okay. And that's two from two, <laughs> mashallah. And we go to question number three. All right. The question is, who is the fifth imam? Mm. Is it Imam Muhammad al-Baqir? Or Imam Ja'far al Sadiq, three Imam al Kazim, or four Imam al Raza? Imam Muhammad Baqir. Okay. Okay, Confident. so we'll lock that in. Are you sure about that one, sister? Yes, uh, the, the sure about that one. You gave me the options. This is. Okay. okay. <laughs> Let's lock it in. You sound confident. You are correct. Alhamdulillah. Of course, wow. the son of Imam Brilliant. Sajjad, the fourth Imam, the fifth Imam is Al Muhammad ibn Ali al Baqir. Brilliant. And then we go to question number four. Question number four? I think. I think it's four. Where oh. was Prophet Yusuf when the angel came down upon him? Oof. Listen to it carefully. Where was Prophet Yusuf when the angel came down upon him? Was he number one in a cave? Number two, in a well. Mm. Number three, was it a dream? Or number four, was he in his house? An angel came to him. Yes. He saw a dream. It's a tricky question. He did. He and did. But he, when he was in cave, uh, sorry, when he was in well. Yes. Okay, so are we saying number two, the well? Yes. Okay, let's lock it in, inshallah. And we raise our hands in dua. Is that the correct answer, our beautiful AV team? Alhamdulillah, you are correct, sister. Well done. And let's just check the scores if we can. I think we're two questions left or three questions left. We'll have a look, inshallah, now or I'll be told. But we're on to our next question in any case. Fadl, brother Yasser. Okay, the question is, hmm. which prophet was ordered to kill his son. Was it Prophet Musa or Prophet Idris, three Prophet Ibrahim or four Prophet Nuh alayhum as salam ajma'in? Ahsent. Prophet Ibrahim. Mm, okay, okay, so we're looking again, Prophet Ibrahim. I would say as well that the words for the audience should be more of sacrifice to be fair than kill, but it is the correct answer. It is Nabi Allah Ibrahim ala Nabi Allah salatu was salam. And that is correct, sister. And I believe you have either one or two questions left. Yes. But the question says, 
which young man, which young man resembled the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, the most? Mm. From these four options. Was it Ali al-Akbar, the son of Imam Hussain? Was it Al-Qasim ibn al-Hasan? Was it Imam Zain al-Abideen or Imam Muhammad al-Baqir? Mm. Which of these four resembled the Prophet the most? We say it is Ali al-Akbar ibn al Hussein alayhi salam and we're gonna lock that in and of course sister you correct. are correct Ahsanti. and mashallah you if I'm not mistaken have completed let's just see now the team is loading oh. it oh there's one more okay there's one more good little setup right now it's not a bad I like this setup yeah, yeah beautiful looks nice Okay, the question is, how many sons did Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam have? Is it one son, two, three sons, three, two sons, or four, five sons? Fifteen seconds. Either one or two. Oh, one or two. It, uh, who, uh, they all... Uh, they all didn't didn't make yeah, it through childhood as we know mm. um, are you wanting to lock in one son yes please okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. oh it's incorrect unfortunately I know you mentioned one or two the correct answer is three sons sister and in the last moment unfortunately you missed out but listen it's been a pleasure thank you so much for calling in um, so sorry you didn't make it, but as we said, the beautiful thing is that there are multiple opportunities this month. Mm. You've got Saturdays, you've got Mondays, you've got Wednesdays, and what a beautiful time for you. Just before or around the Salah time, when you're fasting, not much to do. I want to make sure that yourself and all the brothers and sisters in New Zealand call in whenever you can, inshallah. Mm. Well done, sister. She's gone. Inshallah, yeah. we have a next caller. Very sad. Yes. There's been a couple of people. The call is ready. It's really hurt in my heart. Yeah. I want everyone to be a winner. Really. Wallah, you got a beautiful heart. Wallah, it's unfortunate. By the way, AV team, just let me know in the, in the ear. How long do we have left of the show as well? We have a call. Let's welcome the caller. Just let me know how long we have left also. Do we have a caller? Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. Alaikum alaykum. 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 Okay, uh, hello sister, could I ask where you're calling from, your name and your age please? Um, my name is Khadija, I'm calling from Canada and I'm 17. MashaAllah, okay. sister Maryam from Canada, age 17 if I'm not mistaken. I had Khadija. Sister Khadija. Khadija. I lost it. Wallah. Wallah, my ears. I got something here going, something going on there. <laughs> Apologies, MashaAllah, sister Masha Khadija. Allah. Inshallah, you're well? Yes. Mm. Are you also from the Ontario gang in Canada? Yes. MashaAllah. Every, every Canadian that we've come across is Ontario, by yeah. the way. Yeah. MashaAllah, must be a beautiful community there. Oh, yeah. Sister, you've been watching the show. You know the drill. You know what needs to happen, right? Yeah. So okay. Straight in then. And you know that Brother Yasser is not going to be happy unless you get all seven right. Please. Please. All right. <laughs> Inshallah. Insha God bless you. Right. So, <laughs> looking at the numbers, which number would you like to choose on the screen? I'll go for one. Number one. one. Okay. Beautiful. All right. We'll I'll go for in. the set of questions behind number one. And inshallah, we'll go to our first question. Straight in. Straight in. Let's go. Okay. The first question for you, Sister Khadija, is mm. Imam Hussein mm -hmm. is the first Imam out of 12. Is this correct or incorrect? Incorrect. 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 Nice and confident. Very easy, lock it in. Sister Khadija, first yes. step to heaven is complete. Beautiful work. Right, now we go to question number two. Mm. Question number two says, Surah Al-Ikhlas, Qul Huwa Allahu Ahad, is the shortest surah in the Quran. Is this incorrect or correct? Incorrect. Incorrect. Do you know what the shortest surah is, sister? Sure, You're oh, correct in saying so, and inshallah, that's two from two, five steps left. Yes. Okay, Sister Khadija, your next question is, who built the Holy Kaaba? Mm -hmm. Is it Nabi Adam, two, 
Nabi Nuh, three Nabi Ibrahim, or four Nabi Yusuf. Number three. Nabi Ibrahim. Number three, she said, oh, which three. is Nabi Allah Ibrahim. Okay. Lock it in? Yes, please. Lock it in. Is it correct? Of course. Of course it's correct, I'm Sister really Khadija. Excited. We're nearly there. You can see Yas is ready. Yas is ready to celebrate. Too, sister, honestly. Yeah, yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Okay. <laughs> right. So we go to the next question. We got the lovely spritz Tab an A V team in Tushino. What the beautiful A V Shino and A V. Keep Khabal. it like this. Keep it like what this. What animal <laughs> did Imam Al Hussein alayhi salam have in Karbala? Wow. The options? Was it a camel? I'm just trying to think about the way the, the, the question is written. Was it a camel? Was it a lion? Was it an eagle, Sister Khadija? Or was it a horse? Uh, of course. We go for number four and we say the answer is horse. Is it correct? Of course it's correct. There are some ruayats that refer to a lion being there in the Yom Ashura, yes. protecting the body of Imam mm. Hussain. But of mm. course, Imam Hussain brought with him a horse. Very well done. And we go to question number four? Uh, four or five? Five. We're not very good at this, but it's fine. Sister Khadija is doing well. Yeah, it's five. Yeah, it's it is five. Hopefully. Okay, si Okay, Sister Khadija, <laughs> take your time. I'm really rooting for you right now. Let's go. Let's How go. How many of each animal mm. was on the ship with Prophet Noah? Mm. Was it one of each animal, two of each animal, three of each animal, or six of each animal on the ark? Two. Are you sure, sister, it's not six? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm sure. You're okay. sure? Okay, we'll lock it in. Sister Khadija from Ontario, <laughs> two of each. Oh, I couldn't stop laughing. <laughs> <laughs> MashaAllah, that is the... The time wants to tick slowly, right. but correct awesome. answer. Yes, let's go. Well done. Let's go. Let's go, let's go. How many do we have? I think it's the last one. Oh. It may be the last one or, or the, the penultimate, penultimate one. Mm. But the question is... Who became Imam at the youngest age? Not who is the well, who was the youngest Imam? Who became the Imam at the youngest, the youngest age? Was it Imam Al Hadi alayhi salam? Was it Imam Al Jawad alayhi salam? Imam Al Askari alayhi salam or Imam Ali ibn Musa al Rida alayhi salam? It became a bit tricky now. Imam Al Jawad. Do you know what age he was when he became Imam? Nine. I think you're correct. Yes. And inshallah, if we click onto it, green, wow. mashallah, Sister Khadija is smashing it from Ontario. And uh, I think, is that the last one? One more. Oh, one more. Here we go. Mm. Okay, sister, I think this is the last question. Last We're step to heaven. Last Imam step to heaven. heaven. Okay, your question is, ya Allah. what is the name of Imam Ali's father? Mm -hmm. Is it Abu Talib? Two, Abu Ali. Three, Abu Hamza. Or for Abu Abdullah. Um, Abu Talib. Okay. Abu Talib. Are you sure, salam. sister? This is your last question. Take your time. You, you got 15 yeah. seconds left. Anything you want to say in the last 12 seconds? Uh, no. AV team. She said Abu Talib. If I'm correct. She did say Abu Talib. If you could please lock in number one. Yeah. Thank you very much. Someone's <laughs> trying to sabotage your your seven steps, but they could not. Sister wow. Khadija, and we'll celebrate with the salat ala Muhammad wa Ali Muhammad. Allah. ala Muhammad wa Ali. What a beautiful salawat from the AV they team for you. They, you, could, you can't hear it, but that's the best salawat wow. they've done. Wow. Uh, and also, for some reason, your top score now for 3,800. I don't know how we got there. <laughs> I don't know how the score is calculated, <laughs> Sister Khadija. It could be because. You're from Ontario. It could be because you got the questions right straight away. It could be because Yasser is especially happy. Yeah. We don't know, but you are also the holder of our top score. Mashallah, you're going to be sent. By the way, just to let you know, if I'm not mistaken, correct me if I'm wrong, Imam mm. Hussain TV 3 team, but we have sister's rings and brother's rings. So we're not going to send you a brother's rings. We're going to send you a sister's ring mm. made from the marble of the shrine of Imam Hussain. Alayhi salam, and also your name is going to be put in the drawer for a trip. Inshallah, you will win to Karbala uh, to visit the Imam. Inshallah, congratulations, congratulations, sister. How do you feel? Very good. If I could just say, sister, when you receive the ring, and inshallah, if you win the trip to Karbala, oh. keep me and Hajj Haidal in your du'a, please. Um, That's all um, we request. I'm liking that. That's all we request. Oh, one second. And, and. 
I've just got a sound to say we're going to beat you up if you don't say this. <laughs> also, the AV team who yes. go, they're the unsung heroes of this Ooh. beautiful, you can see the TV screens behind you and the lights moving. These guys have built this whole set by hand. This is not a green screen that you're looking at right now. <laughs> They've built everything by hand. Wow, wow. Yeah, what a yeah. Great so team. inshallah, keep them in your da'as as well. Okay, thank you. All right. Thank fantastic, you. fantastic. Nice Brothers on the AV team, how long do we have left of the show? How long, how long do we have left? Oh. Enough for one more caller. Okay. Inshallah. This is more special. Whoever the last caller is, yeah. you better get seven steps to heaven. You better. You better get seven. Mashallah, we had, by the way, a solid show. The, the, the audience have done amazingly well that have come in. Wow. Yeah, and I think only one or two didn't make it. The rest of them yeah. all made it. I just got word from the AV team. We have over 30 people in the queue. MashaAllah. Wow. MashaAllah. Beautiful. Beautiful. I am, I am happy and devastated at the same time. Why are you happy? I'm happy that we have over 30 quarters. It's our second Why episode. Why are you devastated? I'm devastated because we're not going to get to all of them Because there's going to be more episodes. Today, today. Don't be devastated. Be happy. Brothers <laughs> and sisters, if you're on <laughs> hold, if you're on hold right now, <laughs> don't stay on hold the whole night because we're going to leave after this caller. Yeah. But call back, inshallah, please. on Wednesday night. Please and we'll back. welcome our last caller, please. Beautiful AV team. Subhanaka Ooh. ya Rabbi, they just hang up as well. Maybe wow. the pressure of the seven steps got to them. But there is a queue of 30. So oh. we're going to choose one of the 30. Inshallah. Everyone in the queue, raise your hands in the ass <laughs> right now right and now. pray <laughs> that you have, you basically have just like, what, what do we have? You have like a 3.3% chance or something yeah. like that. Make dua now that you are that 3% that's chosen. Inshallah. Inshallah. And we'll see how it goes. Um, right, Great so, so far. it's been good. Yeah. It's been good. I'm enjoying myself, to be honest. Well, like Yasser, being sitting next to you, I just enjoy myself. Hatta lo a Marco episode, a Marco screen. Honestly, just being next to you, I enjoy myself. I have to remind the viewers. Yes, there's a TV behind us, but the most important thing is the lights. Right now in the studio, there are no lights on. It's all from the north coming out of his face. Allah. All from his face. <laughs> It's lighting That's a everything. Bar. That's a bar. I know. That's a bar. That's beautiful, beautiful. <laughs> last caller, last caller. Should we end the show? La la la. End the show. We end the show. There's no caller. We end the show, right? There is a caller. Baba, you told us there's 30 callers in the queue. And by the way, the AV team today has been 10 out of 10. Okay, I'm so. I just got word we're having some technical issues, but oh. we will pick a caller. 100%. We will. Yeah. Inshallah. Just okay. got word. I'm gonna take this moment to take this headpiece and itch my ear a little bit. <laughs> out of it. I've Inshallah. just been told the callers are demolishing our lines. It's Why? getting stuck. How many no people way. are calling? No way. No way. We need to get new phones. Uh, Brothers and sisters, if you're in the audience and you want to help Imam Hussein TV, donate. We need more phones for the Please quiz. Please donate. Please. We need more phones. We need more Hussein Zadas to answer the phone. Oh, Ahsan. We need... What that's the most important. <laughs> <laughs> we need as many people as possible. We need as many phones as possible. Uh, just to remind you, the format of the show is called... And what the show is called... They just asked me on the AV, Fadshi, do you have something? Khabar, khabar. Do they I'm, not know me and you can waffle for days? We can waffle, but maybe they want something that has value. Wallah, uh, oh, I'll bring anything. Give us a performance. A performance? That's it. You said anything. You're going to stick it what on you now. What kind of performance? A performance? I don't know. What, listen, what it, listen. The only thing I can do is two things. First is look at your beautiful face. Allah. And second <laughs> is narrate a hadith. That's all I can do. We've done the hadith. But yeah. hadith was on a show. One show. So what am I going to do? Stare at your face. No, allow it. Allow, 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 allow. By the way, I remember, yani they asked me, do you have like a poem or something like that? I don't, I don't recite poetry and I don't have a poem. Um, but inshallah, I'll get some poetry. So if they, this happens ever again, Ooh. I can recite something for you, inshallah. Ani bil khidmah. But at the moment, I don't. Um, I've got a joke. So we say a joke. Ooh. Or let's give the audience a riddle. Wallah. Yeah. Okay, and the next caller needs to answer. Yeah, or we'll give them the answer, but just think about it. Okay. There's a lorry. There's a lorry. The lorry weighs 20 tons. Okay? okay. Yeah. It goes over a bridge. By the way, I'm going to say the riddle to Yasser, but everyone joined in at home. Okay. It goes over a bridge. The bridge, the maximum weight it can take is 10 tons. Uh -huh. The lorry, how much? 20 tons. The bridge, how much can it take? 10 tons. But the lorry goes over the bridge, and the bridge doesn't break. How? Wow. That's the riddle. How? So, brothers and sisters, there's a lorry. It weighs 20 tons. It goes over a bridge. The bridge, the maximum capacity it can take is 10 tons. AV team, join in if you know the answer. The lorry goes over 20. The maximum weight takes 10. But the lorry doesn't break. How? 
Hey, V team, if you can help me, don't tell Haydar, <laughs> help me. <laughs> okay, wait. How? The lorry? The lorry. The lorry. Wait. The lorry doesn't go over the bridge. It does. It oh. goes over the bridge fully and the bridge doesn't break. How? So the tires are touching the bridge? It goes over. The tires drive over the bridge. It goes over the well, bridge. Well, that's a tough one. Yeah, how? 20, it weighs 20 tons. The bridge can only hit it. We've got our next caller. Let's bring the caller on. Her name is Dua. Alaikum as salam. Dua, how are you? I'm very oh. well. How old are you, Dua? Where are you calling from? I'm from Canada and my name is Dua Dakakan. And how old are you, Dua? I'm eight. MashaAllah. Oh, so you have instantly won our cutest caller, Dua, by the 100%. way. 100%. <laughs> you, exactly. Are you, and are you based in Ontario as well? Where are you based in Canada? Um, Where are you based in, sorry? DC. DC, perfect. Ooh. Fantastic. Okay, so are you ready for the quiz? Do you know what you're doing? Yeah. And do you have any help next to you? Mom, dad, brother, sister? Maybe. Ooh. Good. No, no, we want you to. Don't worry. We don't want worry. you to. <laughs> if you don't, I'm your help. Allah. I'll, I'll, Allah. Okay. I'll help Brothers and sisters that were listening to the riddle, I'm going to tell you the answer before the end of the show. Think about it. 20 tons, 10 tons. Have a think about it. Right. Dua, Kazim, which number do you want to go for, my darling? Uh, can I go for seven? You can go for seven, but it's not on the screen, so you can't. I'm going to give you a number close to seven. Should we go for eight? Yeah. Okay, let's go for number eight. And I wish you the best of luck. Dua, you're going to be our, I can, I can feel it in my bones. You're going to be our youngest winner, inshallah. Inshallah. Okay. And Thank I'm, you. Inshallah, you win in the name of Muhammad al Jawad. Inshallah. Allah. Your first question, Dua, Thank is. Thank you so much. Oh. Okay, your first question is Muhammad al Jawad is the name of the current living Imam. Is that correct or incorrect? Incorrect. Good girl. It's incorrect. Lock what it is in. the name of our living Imam? Imam. Matthew. Well done, well done, well done. One step to heaven. Very good. Wow. Okay. Question number two. Mm. Imam Ali was the brother of the Prophet Muhammad. Is that correct or incorrect? Not as in you're my brother, um, but the real brother. Literal. Was he the literal brother? Birth mother, birth father. Incorrect. Incorrect. Let's lock that, that in. And you are right. Oh. Well done, Dua. Ahsanti Dua. Dua, you're gonna do this. I can, I can, I can feel it. Two from two. Oh my Let's God. go to number three. Okay, Dua. Your next question is. My fingers are crossed. Me too. Just for you. Where was the Prophet, sallallahu alaihi wasallam? When he received his revelation, when he received the first line, first verse of the Quran, was he in the cave of Hira? Two, inside the Kaaba. Three, home. Or four, water well. And um, number one. Number one, he was in the cave. We're not gonna make a bait. We did by the way. Yeah. Right. Don't make a bait. No, that's it. You're right, Dua. Wow. Mashallah. <laughs> That is three from three, only yeah. four steps. You're nearly there. I really, really want you to win. Right, okay, so let's go to question number cry. question number four. Yes. Oh, the okay. split screen, the split screen. Oof. How old was Nabi Muhammad when he was martyred? I want it to be a bit. How old? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, how old was Nabi Muhammad how old was Nabi Muhammad when he was martyred? Was he 70 years old? Or 63 years old? Or 54 years old? Or 67 years old? He was not murdered. Yep, number two you say? Yes. Yeah. Okay, okay, let's lock in number two at 63 years old. <laughs> My little sister Dua, you are correct. Very good. Yes. Sis, sister Dua, you can't hear it, 
But the AV team is rooting for They're celebrating. Everyone's clapping and drumming and stuff. There's halahil. Do you know what halahil are? There's halahil. Zain. The next question. <laughs> the, the next question is, where was the Prophet Muhammad وسلم, born? Was he born in Mecca? Two, Medina. Three, Najaf. Four, Yemen. Um, Mecca. Mecca, let's lock it in. We definitely did not just discuss the answer. Okay. <laughs> Is the correct answer? MashaAllah, so you are eight years old and you're nearly, you're nearly there. You're mm. nearly there, inshaAllah. How many Imams are buried in Iraq? How many Imams are buried in Iraq? Yeah, so for example, in Karbala, we have Imam Hussein. In Najaf, we have Imam Ali. Yes. In Samarra, Hadi. we have Imam Ali Hadi and Imam Hassan Askari. Sar in Arba. And in Kadhimiya, we have Imam Jawad and Imam Kadhim. Sar in Sitta. But Six. we still don't know the answer. Let's see. How many <laughs> Imams are buried in Iraq? Is it number one seven? Number two four? Number three? When we counted them, it came to six. Or number four? Is it nine? Yeah, number three, yeah. we'll lock it in for you, Sister Dua. <laughs> okay. We'll lock number in number three. three. She said number three, I heard. She did, I heard number I three. Heard I heard number three. Allah! Salli ala Muhammad wa Ali Muhammad. Right, and how many are left? How many questions left? I'm pretty sure that's it. Is that it? No, there's one more. One more. Automatically correct. No, no, finished. finished. We've done seven. Oh, it's finished. Yes, yeah, Sister Dua, yeah. congratulations. Yeah, but Jama'a, AV team, anyone in Sister Dua's telephone, Brother Yasser, please, Salli ala Muhammad wa Ali Muhammad. Allahumma salli ala Muhammad. Oh, oh. Oh. Well oh, done, God. Dua. You're going to get a ring, and inshallah, I pray that you get to go to Karbala as well. Well done. I'm telling you, if I could, I would hand deliver it to her. Really? If I could. You can. Can, can I? you please? Right, I said to me, isn't that generous? Yeah? Yeah, sister? I'm so happy. Well oh, done, well, well done, done Dua. Thank you for calling. You were our last caller as well. So well done, inshallah. Oh. Well, you were our last caller, AV team. AV team, she was our last caller. Inshallah, please, please tell our callers to come back on Wednesday. I start work at 8 a.m. tomorrow. Thank you very oh. much. Okay. And well done, sister Dua. Well done. Out. Okay. And... <laughs> The last thing Ma we will salama. do. One more caller. One more. Yes, we have to. It's Brother Hadi. We have to. Yes. Allah. We have to. Brother it's Hadi. Brother Hadi. We have to. I Put don't know. Who, in. I don't know who Brother Hadi is, but I've been told we have is to. That Brother Hadi? No. You're just gonna meet him. Allah. 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 Alaikum as salam wa rahmatullah, Brother Hadi. How are you guys doing? My name is Hadi. I'm 32 from London. Wow. Mashallah, Brother Hadi. Do I know you? Um, yes, you do. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. But where, where do I know Brother Hadi? Because they said you have to, it's Brother Hadi. Which Brother Hadi is this? Shayyid Hadi Al Hakim, your son. Oh, mashallah. Oh, wow. and you should, oh well, they didn't tell me Sayyid Hadi. They said Brother Hadi. No, guys, listen. Sayyidna, they opened the door and started shouting at us. Lo, you, lo, they told me, Sayyid Hadi, Ani Fidwa Alek. Sayyid, I'll sit here until Fajr in the morning for you, bro. Come on, serious. Let's go to the questions. We're going to. Said we're gonna rattle through it, by the way. And I have an answer to your riddle, by the way. But if you've heard it, you're not allowed to say it. I'm not. I haven't heard it. Okay. Basically, yeah. Something to do with fuel. And you know he drives halfway, and then the truck loses enough fuel. No way. No way. So then it doesn't break. The something like that. Mashallah, you're completely wrong. But very good guess. Oh. You okay. guess me. Very good guess. <laughs> I'll give the answer, inshallah, at the end of the show. For those of you that didn't hear, there's a lorry that weighs 20 tons. It goes over a bridge. The bridge can only take 10 tons. How does the lorry go over the bridge and the bridge not break? How? That is the riddle. We'll come to the answer at the end of the show. Okay. Sayyid Hadil Aziz from the UK. Which number do you yeah. want to go for? Uh, let's go for number 10. Number 10. Number 10. Free roll, there is no number 10, oh, but no. we're going to choose you a number. Oh, Ali Ya Allah. Let's go. Let's go. 
براحتك ام اس اي ويتش ايفر نمبر يو ونت تشوز بعد قلبي انت تشوز 11 راين جيجز بيك بيك اني يلا نمبر 2 روح جاري نيفل روح نمبر 2 يوه زين فيرست كويشن سيد هادي فيرست كويشن از بروفيت ادم از اور فيرست بروفيت كوركت او انكوركت كوركت روح كوركت ليتس لوك ان سريع اريد هذا سريع وي جيت سيد 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 هادي تو 7 اند ذن ذاتس ات زين يلا محمد <تصفيق> يلا كويستشن نمبر 2 بس اقول لك مو نطير اجوبه مثل ما قلت لا 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 ذا ار 14 امامز انكوركت او كوركت انكوركت انكوركت لوك ان تريك كويستشن ذات ون تريك كويستشن يو ار رايت ويل دان 2 فروم 2 5 ستبس ليفت ان شاء الله تو هيفن ات از اوكي ذا كويستشن از Who was the brother of Prophet Musa Is it one, Nabi Yahya, two, Benjamin, three, Levi, or four, Harun, Nabi Harun alayhi salam. Harun. Harun. Number four, Harun, Harun, Harun alayhi salam. Lock it in. The team, let's go quick. Let's go, let's go. Lock it in. Correct. MashaAllah. Yeah. Three from three, four Masha steps Allah. left. MashaAllah. MashaAllah. Hello, it's Sayyid. Oh, split screen. Yes. Who was the brother of Prophet Musa? We said Harun. You've got it again. Let's say Harun again. Well, this is a freebie. Do you, have you paid someone in the AV team? What's going on? This is fixed. <laughs> this is Super League. This is Super League nonsense. Honestly, you fixed it. You fixed it, Sayyid Hadi. Next, next. Alhamdulillah. Wallah tistahil. Where was Prophet Musa found when the Pharaoh's wife saw him? Was he in a water well? Mm. Was he in a basket on the river? Mm. Was he in a basket in an abandoned building? <laughs> wow. Or was he in a basket next to her house? Wow. Basket in a river. Basket in a river. Number two, let's lock it in. Is that the correct answer? Ooh. La. No, that's incorrect. That's incorrect. You're man. correct, Said Hadi. Next question. She You're correct. Abandoned. I'm correct. You're correct, Said Hadi. I think they've just done that for. Did they do that on them? I think they've done that for comical banter. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not really Entertainment sure. Purposes. Entertainment, Entertainment purposes. Entertainment purposes. I Maybe the transaction didn't go through. The transaction. Maybe, but uh, abandoned building. Where? Uh, uh, when if Stonebridge, <laughs> Stonebridge abandoned? Let go, Nabi Astaghfirullah. Let go of Stonebridge abandoned building. Yeah, Jamaa. Say it, Hadi. Send the money through, or you lost. Zain. Okay, the next question. Which prophet existed without any prophets? Any parents? Any parents? Ahsan. Azadni. I'm sorry. Khidim tak. Is it Nabi Idris? Aye. Two, Nabi Isa. Aye. Three, Nabi Adam. Aye. Or four, Nabi Muhammad. Is that prophet without parents? Yes. Yeah, Adam. Three. Nabi Allah, Adam. Salam Allah alay. Lock it in. Correct answer. Well done, Sayyid Hadi. Next. And we keep moving. What does Nabuwa mean? Does Nabuwa mean 12 Imams? Does Nabuwa mean prophethood? Does Nabuwa mean messenger? Or does Nabuwa mean friend of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? It means insha'Allah. Insha'Allah, prophethood. We'll lock that in for you. And no doubt that you're correct on this one. Next. The person that you fixed it with is smashing it because yep. he's giving you the easiest possible questions. It seems you just got the uh, notification Allah, and Allah, you Allah. received the money. Ay wallah, it's a And... <laughs> I think we're done. Is that it? No way. Is that it? Very good. But he won. Salla ala Muhammad wa ali Muhammad. Allah wa salli ala Muhammad. Allah wa Muhammad. Ahsan Sayyidna. Inshallah you receive the ring. Thank you so much for this opportunity. Our uh, absolute pleasure Sayyidna. Our pleasure. Your channel is a very inspirational platform. Oh. Thank you very much. And I would look forward to tuning in every night. Thank Habibi, you so thank you so much, much Sayyidna. It's our honor to be able to serve you in such a small way. And inshallah, we'll see you soon. Ma'asalam, Sayyidna. Ma'asalam, Sayyidna. Well, well, well done. Whew. That is categorically our last caller for this evening. We are going to go to the riddle now. Oh. The riddle. The question was, I'm going to repeat if anyone didn't hear. There's a lorry. Mm. It weighs 20 tons. Mm. It goes over a bridge. The bridge maximum weight it can take is? 10 tons. But the bridge doesn't break. The question was how? Oh, the lorry weighs 20 tons. Weighs 20 tons. Wow. 
The answer is Allah sitar. <laughs> no Allah sitar is the answer. No way. No Brother, way. that's the answer. Solid riddle. Ah, Brothers and sisters, thank you so much. It's been a pleasure once again to be your host this evening. Inshallah, yeah. So tell us when we're back on next. Inshallah. So today's Monday night. So it's not Saturday. So it must be Wednesday. It is Wednesday. <laughs> Congratulations Wednesday. for yeah. that calculation. Beautiful. <laughs> and inshallah, we'll see you on Wednesday for another installment of Seven Steps to Heaven. Uh, we've been your host, Haji Haidar and Brother Yasser. And inshallah, we'll see you on Wednesday. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. feel all alone and my heart needs to hear and all hope from me is gone and this life seems so real there's no one by my side I feel times out of place yet in you I confide I call you There's been nights that I cry For your love and embrace Yet still hope cannot die I hear you Oh Allah, I know you'll answer Do you hear me as I call? I'm in need of you, my master Will you raise me as I fall? Oh Allah, I know you'll answer When I stand for you and pray I'm in need of you, my master As I raise my hands and say مالي لا أبكي أرى نفسي تخادعني وأيامي تخاتلني الله فمالي لا أبكي لخروج نفسي ولظلمة قبري Now my heart fills with hope Oh Allah, you saved me I hold on to your rope So blessed I am for thee Without you I'm worthless In a blink all my years So to you I'll confess all my sins So I'll raise my hands high My head bowed, shedding tears And I know as I cry 
את בגז. O Allah, I knew you dancer, I see light now you're my guide. I'll hold on to hope my master, with you I don't need to hide. O Allah, I knew you dancer, I'll be thankful every day. I'll hold on to hope my master as I raise my hands and say درجاتي واعفو عني لا تردني الله تقبل مني وعلي ذكري بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم During this blessed month of Shahr Ramadan, we at Imam Hussein Development and Relief Foundation are looking to provide food baskets for families living in poverty in and around the blessed city of Karbala. Each food basket contains a variety of essential food supplies that is sufficient to feed roughly a family of four for just about 10 days. By donating, 20 pounds per food basket, you can play a role in ensuring that nobody living in the city of Imam al Hussein ever misses an iftar due to poverty. Contribute today and play a part through our website at www.ihdrf.org or follow us for updates on this campaign for Shahrul Ramadan through our social media. May our two masters, Imam al Hussein and Al Abbas, reward each and every one of you abundantly during this blessed month of Shahrul Ramadan as you work to elevate poverty from the great city of Karbala. <laughs>